I've just um, had a look at this Morrison and I've cleaned the carburetor and the gasket in the diaphragm in there seems okay, it's not great, but I didn't realise it didn't have a blade on the bottom and um, the actual nut that was, the actual bolt was broken off, so I used easy outs and got that out, which is really lucky because I haven't had much luck with easy outs before. So now I'm going to attach one of these discs on, one of the discs that fits the Briggs and Stratton and try and get it going and then once it's going and I'm satisfied with it I'll buy a blade and probably a gasket diaphragm for a blade was about $35 and a diaphragm there about $10 so that's $45 but I should be able to if that's running good and not smoking or anything should be able to get 100 for it I'd say because it's Briggs and Stratton it's 3-in-1 mulch if people want mulches these days actually they like them and that spring there is a little bit stretched out, that's alright. And I fixed the wind up mechanism on this one. Uh, I'll show you what was wrong with it. I had a spare which I had to sort of use a part of. So this is the wind up um, thingy here. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit sort of hard to explain but the little ratchet mechanism that hooks into here had broken off so I got another ratchet mechanism off another one of those stubs which is pretty similar and put it on and then that fixed that up. And it doesn't have a spark, so I might um, clean the points on it. If that doesn't fix, I'll probably just sell it. I know they're, they're a bit rare. People um, will buy it. Um, I've had a... When I showed someone, they said, oh, how much for it? But I didn't want to sell it at that time. But it will be sold in the near future. So I've got those two moles out there, that orange... orange the grey Victor Concept, which Junkyard Dog 87 sent me the muffler for, and the Victor 2 stroke out there on eBay at the moment, so hopefully they'll sell. Yeah, I didn't have a boss that fitted, so what I've done is I've just um, I've just put the blade on holding it with like, that middle nut, and also I check oil obviously, and this oil dipstick is so much better than that one there that, that comes snakes down. I hate that style, it's so shit. It never works, it always leaks whenever you pull the thing off. You always undo it obviously, from the case. But that's not going to face it. So maybe that's good enough. So I don't know how long this hasn't been started in. I don't know what's starting on. Probably need a new one of these cables to get kinked. As you can see, this thorough cable is, is it's kinked way too much. It's got way too many bends in it, so that's not working real well. So um, what I've done is it's actually a bit clean up in my area. I've found a few bikes, and I'm just taking the throttle cable, the like changing gear cable off them, but it, and that and that actually fits these. So I use that, and and to hold it in place, I just put like a little bit of like, one of those. Um, hose clamps. I think it was a little bit too much full of oil, so I'm going to probably run it for another um, five minutes um, and then drain the oil out the back because obviously I don't want it on my lawn, although my lawn is so shit because there's always petrol on it. See here? My dad's not happy about that. But, and actually I put this over a big patch. See? So I just, I just put like, that like that so it doesn't sit. <laughs> um, yeah. And often I mow out here, just testing my mower, so you can see a few big um, strips mown. So I'll change the oil and put in some fresh oil, and hopefully that'll stop it smoking. And um, put a new new one of these cables in, because that's shot. That's some shit. Um, I could probably end up, I could probably strain it out, maybe using a bit of heat, but I'm not. Just put a new one in, and yeah. running pretty well now. Um, I replaced the cable 
because it was had too many kinks in it, so I just put this bike cable on, but you can't really tell. Um, I joined it there We're using some heat shrink tubing, so I'll probably just put a bit of black paint over that. And also to hold it in place up here, because as you, when you accelerate like that, that's fine, but it goes down like that. So what you do is you just get like a, one of those hose clamps, and that holds it. I mean, it looks pretty good, and so I probably will get a blade for this about $35 and a new diaphragm which is about 10 so that's 45 but hopefully I should be able to get more than that for it 45 I should be able to get I don't know I don't know maybe it's not worth it getting a blade but I need a blade and it's a mulch and catch and people want those and it's got to catch it in perfect condition so yeah I probably will get it and then it's worth it and I want to get rid of it so and even if even if that's probably forty five dollars for that, so even if I can get eighty for it, then that's you know, not much profit, but whatever. I want to get rid of it. So now that I've got this Morrison running, I'll um I'll probably mm, I don't know I might put this on eBay. I don't know whether I'll put it on eBay or just wait till um, the garage sale. I have one of my friends who has really big ones, and ev lots of people go. He's in a really good spot on a sort of main road. He has he's ha come, having one in about a month's time, so I don't know if I'll sell it there or on eBay but I want to put an order in and get some stuff so I want to can have a look at this Briggs and Stratton and a couple of these ones don't have catches and I don't know I don't know how the catcher would hold on to this but I don't know but I'll have a look at it anyway actually I've got another one that does have a catcher so instead I'll have a look at that one because I'd rather get one going that has a catcher instead of one that doesn't have a catcher. I noticed this when I was putting this carburetor back together. There's no little spring in that hole there. You probably can't see it. There's no spring in there. And see this one here? has that little recoil spring in there. Um, it still closes. It still closes really well. But I'm just wondering if it needs it. This, this model carburetor is a little bit different than the one on this tank here. It is different, but I'm just wondering, should I put a spring in there or what? It looks like there's space for a spring, like there's a like a little notch which it would go around. And I don't know, just wondering. So this is another model of carburetor, and I'm not good with these brief strand carburetors. I couldn't tell you if they're a pulse jet, vacuum jet, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's got that spring there and nothing over here. So, I don't know, does that one out there need a little spring but it still closes correctly which is why I'm thinking maybe it doesn't but I don't know you guys might know more than me NRP 91 you would know that ok I've tried looking for an age on it but someone painted over it so that's uh, that's cool fella.